And now at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, a terrifying police shooting in the parking lot of a busy Home Depot under investigation tonight. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Leslie Meddy. And good evening. I'm Ross Palumbo. One day after that deadly shooting, investigators are now trying to figure out what motivated that suspect to tip off police before he hatched that plan to shoot people. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock live in Burbank tonight with the very latest on the investigation, Nicole. Well, good evening, you guys. At this point, it's still unclear if this man was actually armed or if he just reported that he was armed when he called 911 yesterday. But either way, customers here were more concerned with how much worse this could have been for everyone here in the parking lot. <laughs> customers and employees on lockdown inside a Home Depot in Burbank watched through the glass door Saturday as police opened fire on a man in the parking lot who reportedly called 911, told dispatchers he had a gun and planned to shoot people. Cool. When are we, when, like, where, where can I go without potentially thinking that, you know, I've got my three and a half year old with me and uh, somebody might come in and start shooting people. Family shopping here on Sunday morning were thankful that police intercepted what could have happened and that no innocent people shopping here were hurt. Could have been uh, the most, one of the most horrific situations that we get reminded about every day or something. Our kids have got to grow up in this world and it's not getting better. Not at all. While it's not clear yet if the suspect was in fact armed, Burbank police say he was sitting in a car when they got here and immediately acted aggressively. He stepped out of the vehicle. He took a shooting stance towards the officers, which then precipitated the officer involved shooting. <laughs> Police fired multiple times in the busy parking lot, shooting the suspect, who later died. One witness told us Saturday he thought the suspect was going to surrender. Yeah, I mean, he had his hands behind his, uh, clasped behind his head, so I thought they had the situation controlled. Burbank police say their officer-worn body cameras and in-car cameras were activated during their encounter with the suspect, and they're reviewing those along with security cameras from the parking lot. The suspect has not yet been identified and no officers were injured as a result of the shooting. Now the DA's office and the State Department of Justice are investigating. Reporting live in Burbank, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. All right. Thank